Welcome to the best data scientist roadmap in 2025. And this is the fastest way that you can go from a literal beginner to a high paying job in data science with an average salary of 120,000 per year. And you can work from home as well. Data science is future proof and has a predicted growth of over 30% in the next 10 years. And this strategy is so simple. It's step by step and it's been refined over the years and created based on the stories of hundreds of data scientists. This is the way that they succeeded and trying to become a data scientist without a roadmap is literally impossible. It's like walking in the desert trying to find water without having a map. And it's the reason why so many people failed. But if you do have a map, then you can succeed. So let's begin. And the first step is to learn how to think and operate like a data scientist. But you need all the steps to succeed or else it's just not going to work. To be a data scientist, you'll need to understand how they actually operate. And it requires an analytical mindset and the ability to problem solve, breaking complex problems down into manageable pieces. Because no matter your skills, if you cannot ask the right questions, understand the underlying objectives and so on, then nothing else really matters. The goal is not to play around with data, it's to make data useful for companies. So at this stage, I recommend that you take a beginner course and you can take the IBM and data science certificate, which is going to teach you all the fundamentals while focusing on Python. And Python is the most popular programming language for data science. And it's a skill that most of you should learn. But if you prefer to work with another language called R, I recommend the data science specialization. Both the courses are free. The certificates are paid, although financial aid does exist. Next, you'll want to continue developing your programming skills. And here's where a lot of people mess up because you're not looking to become a developer or a software engineer, right? You want to become a data scientist. So you need to learn the absolute basics of your language and then specific packages or libraries and use cases for data science. I recommend the applied data science with Python course. And it's much better than taking a general Python course and learning some random stuff that you don't actually need. Now, step number four is critical and you can work with data in Excel or Python. But when it comes to structured data with rows and columns, the most in demand skill is structured query language or SQL. This skill is required for most data science jobs, whether you're looking to become a data scientist or data engineer. And I recommend the SQL basics for data science course. It's top rated, lots of students, and it's perfect for a data scientist. Now the next level is somewhat different and don't be discouraged because it sounds difficult. You'll need to learn some math and some statistics, but not the type of math that you were doing back in high school, rather strengthen foundational math and the statistics necessary for data science. I recommend the mathematics for machine learning and data science specialization. And it's from the world's leading data and AI educators. And all it requires is a basic high school math education to start. And it's really, really efficient to brush up on your statistical knowledge. Check out the statistics course by Stanford, where you can learn the absolute basics in just 14 hours. And it's going to make you a way stronger data scientist. And again, while these courses don't really replace formal studies by any means, they can help you quickly boost your skills, whether you've taken a math course at university or you're just starting from scratch. Moving on to level five, and data scientists will build statistical and machine learning models to make data useful for companies. And while some are going to use machine learning a lot more than others, as a job can vary a lot depending on the company, machine learning is an essential skill. In the first beginner course, you've already been kind of introduced to machine learning, but now is a great time to specialize. And what better way to the machine learning specialization? This might be the best rated ML course in the universe. And all you need is a basic high school math and some basic coding skills, which you've already acquired at the previous steps. It's going to take you roughly two months at 10 hours a week. So if you do decide to work on it full time, it's going to take you roughly two weeks to get it done. You'll start by covering supervised machine learning, learning about things like regression and classification, as well as advanced learning algorithms. And finally, unsupervised learning, recommenders and reinforcement learning. And these concepts are challenging, but the instructor Andrew is known for breaking down complex concepts into simple terms. So you're in good hands. Level six is about deep learning, which is a subset or kind of a part of machine learning. It involves neural networks. So it's very interesting right now with everything going on about AI. Deep learning engineers are highly sought after and these skills are going to become incredibly valuable in your toolbox. It's also been rated 4.9 from nearly a million students. So this is by far the best course for deep learning out there, but it's important that you take the machine learning one first so you understand the basics before moving on to this kind of subsection of ML. We're soon getting to the end, but the final few steps are absolutely critical if you want to get a job because you can learn everything up until this point and still have literally zero chance if you're missing the final pieces. So level seven is about big data. And over time, data are starting to come in huge quantities and we weren't able to deal with it using our conventional techniques. This created a new field called big data and has become essential to understand as a data scientist, especially because if you understand big data, you can tackle different problems that you would not otherwise be able to tackle due to the sheer size of the data sets. One of the most popular tools in big data is called Apache Spark. 
And if you haven't heard about these, then don't worry because you don't really hear much about them outside of big data. This course by IBM will take you roughly 20 hours and introduce you to big data with Spark and Hadoop. It's going to tell you what big data is, what the tools are, and how they work and how you can use them, as well as include a final project and assessment. Now, if you're super ambitious, you could take the entire big data specialization by UC San Diego. This one is going to teach you everything you need to know about big data, and it even comes with a capstone project as well. Now, level eight is up next, and there's a field called cloud computing, which is basically the delivery of computing services over the internet. This could include everything from servers, storage, databases, and analytics. And today, many things are built and run using cloud services. As a data scientist, you're likely going to be working with a cloud computing platform. And the two most popular ones are Amazon Web Services, or AWS, and Microsoft Azure. Learning these should be included in your studies. And you can take the AWS Fundamentals course, which will teach you everything you need to know about how to get started with AWS. You can also take the Azure Data Scientist Certificate, which is even better because it's going to teach you the specific skills as a data scientist that you actually need for cloud. It also prepares you for an optional certification, which is a good bonus. Now, after this one, there are many ways to continue learning data science, and one way is to specialize. If you focus on a certain part of data science, it can lead to new job opportunities, higher salaries, and the ability to work and focus on what you personally enjoy the most. In the full roadmap down in the description, I'll include all of the courses mentioned and more, as well as other resources for you to become a data scientist. Bye, and I'll see you over there.